Several years ago, the microbiologist Emmanuelle Charpentier and her team made a groundbreaking discovery. She figured out how bacteria defend themselves against invading viruses. She discovered that this natural mechanism can be used as a tool to modify genes. There was actually a call from Umeo University that was a, a new uh, laboratory focused on macrobiology, infectious diseases and molecular biology. So I knew that Umeo University was really strong in my field of research. I knew uh, already Umeo because I had uh, visited some colleagues of mine within the frame of, of a European network in the summer. But my interview took place in January uh, with, for sure, a lot of darkness, very cold weather, and uh, the, the first foot I put on, on the ground in Umeo was with the snow. So, you know, when you walk on the snow, it just grass, grass, grass. And then I said, this is, this is where I need to go. <laughs> this is where I need to be. I feel that I will be able to carry on this research. <laughs> Sweden provides uh, very good opportunities with the possibility to compete for funding, like uh, fundings uh, offered by the Wallenberg Foundation. And it's really important because it provides another layer of, of funding that allows also Sweden to be highly uh, competitive. The Wallenberg Foundation is uh, an excellent complement uh, to support basic scientists for really performing uh, excellent research. If you look at uh, every uh, innovation in the technology field, it always originates from basic science. Without basic science, without the understanding of mechanisms that uh, bacteria have evolved to defend themselves against infections that led to this technology. So this is really uh, where CRISPR comes from. So it's really uh, uh, critical to, to carry on with basic science.